Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. I'm gonna keep this short, because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for Whiterun's Captain of the Guard, and we're going to poison the mead. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well, you know what I mean? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Okay, okay. No need to make rash decisions. Here's half. You get the rest when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant Malice handle it, but he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Malice is the best deal I've ever made. Lent him a bit of gold some time ago I knew he'd never be able to pay back. Nothing like free labor to make operating costs cheaper. Now I've got to clean up this mess.
Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Well, Sebjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. By the eight. What... what's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see... see to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you. You're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said move. Farewell, Sabjorn.
I don't think that could have gone any better. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him, and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. What do you need, my friend? Ah, so you're an alchemist then. I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. Do let me know if I can be of service. Everything's for sale, my friend. Take a look. Met Traveler. What might you be looking at?
Let me see that. I can't believe this. It was all just a fabrication of this Windelius character. I can't believe we were so stupid. Well, least I can do is give you something for taking care of him. If you won't accept it as a payment, consider it a gift. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. Are you kidding? Those damn things will drive me right out of business. Tell you what, bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the herd. Now go give those stupid bears what's coming to them.
can't see you, Raider. I can't find you. Why are you hiding? Hiding? Hide, hide, hide. Don't make me sad. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Raider was here, then gone. Went to gather plants and never came home. Nope, nope. Everyone looked and no one could find her. Wilhelm said she'll be back. Told Narvi not to worry. Raider will come back. With father I said goodbye. With mother I said goodbye. Raider leaves and Narvi can't say goodbye. Makes Narvi very, very sad. Narvi needs Raider to say goodbye. Raider. Raider! Ah, he's harmless. He's been in a state ever since his sister Raida disappeared over a year ago. He just keeps to himself in what's left of his folks farmhouse across the river. I just said that to make the poor guy feel better. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Raida would gather ingredients from the small island in the river east of here. Then one day, she just vanished. I tried to look for her, but she never turned up. among the clouds now, dear Raider. I miss Raider. She was so nice to Narfi. Narfi said he can't be with Raider. Raider! You saw Raider? Did you tell her Narfi cries? Did you tell her Narfi never said goodbye like mother and father? Oh no! No, no, no! Narfi never got to say goodbye! Now Narfi's all alone. At least Narfi has Raider's necklace. Reminds Narfi of his sister. Thank you for giving this to Narfi.
Well, look at this. Another city rat crawled outside the walls. I don't suppose you've come up here to tell old Froki about your supposed divines. They're stolen idols. Imposter gods, sold by silver tongues. No thank you. Froki will not forget Kine, or her sacred trials. It's an old Nord tradition, a test to prove your worth in the eyes of Kine. Show that you're a hunter, and no simple butcher. Kine teaches us to respect the beasts, and blesses the hunter who will face their champions. True Nord hunters are those who survive the trials. Do you think you're strong enough for Kine's blessing? I would be glad to pass this tradition down. You must defeat guardian beasts blessed by Kine. I will anoint you with the symbol of the wolf, the crab, and the skeever. This will compel the guardian to appear when you reach his lair. Here's where you need to go. Grandson. He's a strong lad. His parents were at Helgen when... Well, you know. Well, I can't say I was a great father the first time around. Now that he's here, it's like a second chance. He's a good lad. Mm-hmm. Someday, I'm gonna kill a dragon all by myself. It ain't so bad. I miss living with my parents back in Helgen, though. Froki can't cook, and there's nobody to talk to up here. It's okay. I know what happened at home, with the dragon and all. Froki won't let me hunt on my own yet, but he never shuts up about killing his first stag when he was 11. Mm-hmm.